<laughs> Greetings, unsettled souls. Uh, welcome aboard. It's the correct views. Sam DeGangi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All that good stuff. Please hit share and subscribe. I hope you're finding this from Opera News. Yes, if you've been with me on YouTube, chances are you might have been with me for like 10 years. I love you. I'm asking you to switch to Opera because they have really stood behind the show. And let's face it, YouTube probably wants me dead. If you're hearing about this on Rumble, I think there's two people that know about me on Rumble. And I love you both. Welcome aboard. Um, friends, you know, you start the show on this vibe that you're like going to be jovial. And then you're like, oh, yeah, I actually have to report on this garbage. And your, your, your bad mood, it's... I couldn't be in a worse mood if I was going to a Beyonce concert. Shocking video shows two men beaten and robbed while women twerk over unconscious bodies. Now, I put this in the description. I know that Opera doesn't have a description section, so I do want to say this before I get into the, into the description, or it's going to sound like I'm saying something that I'm not. Um, when my band, A Passing Time, was together, there were times that there were rap segments in the music. Most of my rap was political. I wasn't usually, I never rapped about gangs and thugs and that. Even though I grew up in 44703, which you can look it up, it's a great place to die. Um, I have a hatred. <sighs> hatred. For radio hip-hop culture. Hate it. That means he hates black people. No, it damn well doesn't. I also hate bro country as much. Mind-numbingly bad, not just musically, but for the culture as a whole. And as it relates to, like, bro country or something, I would say the idea of praising that, you know, I'm a redneck who doesn't do anything but get drunk. You know... You can tell by looking at me, I'm a metalhead. I've been a goth industrial music freak my whole life. I like old school jazz. I like classical music. I like a little bit of everything. You know what? A good get drunk song is fine. But when it becomes your lifestyle... I'm going to have a couple drinks tonight. But when it becomes your lifestyle to the point where you have a microphone to the world and this is what you're singing about on like every song, then you have to wonder about it. And... We, that's what a bro country may do. Well, guess what? Uh, guess what new hip-hop culture is bringing? And I understand that this isn't what hip-hop culture really is. I know what radio did to you. I get it. I get it. I, I, I know that uh, you, you uh, modern hip-hop culture is like buying hip-hop off of Wish. I get it. Okay? It's not what it was really about. I'm not an idiot. I'm talking about what it has spun into. We have women twerking on ambulances. What was that? Like two or three weeks ago, I talked about that. Remember? What is this? I'm going to dance every time something happens. I don't... What, what the hell is that? People will say, well, you listen to, like, golf music and you walk around in black makeup. No, that's different. That's fine. This would be like me putting black makeup on every time something happened. Somebody got knocked out, I'm putting black makeup on. What the hell is that? That doesn't make any damn sense. Every Somebody gets knocked out, and you're twerking over them. Listen, to this doesn't make any damn sense. Let me take the light off me real quick. We won't be dealing with this problem a lot, because I'm getting a camera soon. Shocking footage from a security camera in Chicago's expensive River North neighborhood, which hosts restaurants, lucky, lucky shop owners there, restaurants, shops, and art galleries, among other businesses, explicitly reveals how bad the city's crime problem has gotten. This is from InfoWars. In the video, two men can be seen being viciously kicked and beaten by a group of young men who strip them to their shoes, empty their pockets, and before it's all over twerk on the victim's unconscious bodies. Now, friends, I am far from a prude. I've never cheated on anybody. Um, I have been in relationships where, you know, maybe she likes, so I'm straight myself, but, you know, I'm not going to say no to some situations. I probably should have. I've said on here that I'm a Christian, and did I, have I lived a sexually pure life? No, I have not. I sometimes DJ in adult establishments. You have Three kinds of people there. Those who can't get any other job than that. 
those who are going to school for like doctors and nurses and rocket science and marine biology seems to be a big one. Very, very intelligent, which you do not think you would run into in a strip club, but you do. It's very, very common. And then, of course, those who are just a wreck. Um, I'm familiar with it. Okay. This is lunacy. If you're going to twerk, come. I, I can help get you a job. Let's not do it over somebody who just got knocked out. How about that? Can we agree on that? Or is that racist? According to a local Fox affiliate, two men were attacked on State Street near Kinsey at 10.30 local time on Saturday morning. I'm going to show the video real quick before I keep yammering over it. All right. Then, oh, okay. Then there's a... Uh, oh, there's no audio. So there you go. So I get to yammer over it anyway. Lucky you. What? What? What are they beating this guy for? They knock him down, almost by a car. I don't even know if the car called 911. I probably would have. He was just walking by. He didn't even do anything. He just got hit for nothing. Now look. Now, where did these girls come from? What the hell is that? What are they twerking about? I don't get it. I just... I absolutely... It makes it no sense to me at all. Ooh, let's be part of this. Let's be part of what? Don't you understand that the... And I'm going to be real here. The reason that people look at some white people as racist is because the stereotype that is portrayed in the media says that white people are racist, so they are looked at that way. So if somebody has a, a Confederate flag in their, in their, um, there's more fighting and they're throwing things and it's crazy. Uh, you know, I'll let it play in the background. There's another fight. He just got up and defended himself. It's portrayed that way. So if somebody has, a, say, a Confederate flag or a tattoo, uh, the, the basis for the project I work with, his na middle name is Lee. He was related to General Lee. His family was recruited into the army against their will. It was, you serve or you'll be shot. He's not racist. The singer of the band that we work with is happens to be African-American. I mean, it's portrayed that way. So every time you see a certain, stay with me, every time you see a certain image, you think that's what it is, right? By them twerking and laughing and stealing from someone, they are reinforcing that stereotype to other people who are black. And the vast majority of black people who are listening to this and high-fiving me right now and saying that I am completely correct, the, the black people, the 99.99% .99 of the black population who isn't doing this, you're putting targets on their head. Just like the media has spun it. So you can hate Whitey. They do it the same way. There's a lot of money in it. There's a lot of money there. There's new cell phones that need to be purchased, look like car damage, ripped clothes. Hey, that's what matters, right? The dollar. I've only got like a minute and a half in this, but uh, it, it describes what happened. I'm not going to read it to you. You can find it on InfoWars. But let me know what you think in the comment line. It's Again, it's different than we've seen before in that you know, we've always had little clicks. You got, you know, people who do live action role playing, vampire or something in public. I've done that. I'm a nerd like that. Okay. That wasn't triggered by anything. I just decided to be a vampire in public. What if somebody got knocked out and I was like, yeah, now's the time to be a vampire because that's the culture I'm into. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, that's what we just saw. Somebody just got knocked out, so I'm going to twerk. Anyone comment line, thank you.